First one up, Tim Tebow has been cut by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Thus ends the era of Tebow as a tight end. I do not foresee anybody picking him up as a free agent because the first preseason game was about as abysmal as you could get. If they had found any inkling of competency at the position, any inkling of him being able to block anybody, I think that they would have kept him. He was the highest-selling jersey for Jacksonville, even though they drafted Trevor Lawrence. Like, it's insane. Do you think there's a world where they brought him in and kept him on the roster long enough to sell a shitload of jerseys? I don't think that the amount of money that they made off of selling jerseys would have been worth it. I think they, I think Urban Meyer really thought that he could come in and be a contributing member of that football team. I think that's what he thought. You, How you feel differently? How disappointed do you think Urban is? I think he's really disappointed. I I think there was just no way to keep him on on the field. There was no way to keep him on the roster. He looked, he looked really bad. He looked completely lost. All right, I got I got to ask this question. Okay, he is. A big, strong dude. Like a super big, super athletic, strong dude, right? Yeah. How in the hell does he miss other giant humans trying to block them? He whiffed everybody. Every yeah. block. <laughs> if you didn't, so the one that went viral was not even the worst one, right? No, because not even the worst the, one. The, the one that was right after that, he completely whiffed on the guy. Like completely. That one... He, He's trying to he block whiffed. a gigantic person. <laughs> it, you have to try to miss that guy. I think Tebow was like, I'm I'm not doing this. And I, move. It's entirely possible. I think about it. he he's played quarterback basically his entire life. Like I you're you're asking I, a I've, quarterback to come in and block. That's not true. Gary, Gary, tomorrow I could walk outside, I could take a person equal to your size and say, Go block the just go run in front of this person and and get on him with your shoulders and push him. And with no practice ever in your entire life doing it, you could do it better than he did. Are you are you suggesting that Tebow tanked his audition? No, I don't think <laughs> he tanked. I think I think he's legitimately that bad. I think so. I think he is. I think you're. 100% I think he right. saw another big giant human being, and he said, "I'm not doing this. My my whole life, I've avoided these people. I'm not hitting that guy." Yeah, I I could see that. I could 100% see that. Now, I will say this. The people that have celebrated Tebow's failures, I got no time in my life for these people, right? I, you you will not see either one of us tweeting, laughing about the fact that Tim Tebow could not play tight end. Like, oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're, hey, you right. speak for yourself, okay? I love <laughs> Tebow. I think Tebow is a great person. He was laughably bad. Yes. It's okay to laugh at no, that. No, I, he was laughably, bla uh, laughably bad for sure. I completely agree with that. What I'm saying is the people that laugh at all of the failures, the baseball, the tight end stuff, the broadcasting, the, you know, all that kind of mess, like the guy puts himself out there. And he tries a whole bunch of different stuff, and he was a great college player, and he could have rested on that for the rest of his life. He could have gone out and made appearances. You've got to make a living, Gary. You can't rest on it the rest of your life. That man made so much money in, in just college? like in well, probably in college for sure. But in but just not, a couple didn't make of years, enough to like never work again, though. I don't. I don't know, man. I think he's made enough off of going out I, and speaking at, at like the speaking yeah, circuit. Yeah, like I think college, he's done that. Sure. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. I agree. These mega churches pay gazillions of dollars. Trust yes. me. Yes, I think I he has. Yeah. He's got plenty of money. And don't forget, like his parents are filthy rich too. Like he's he's trying to to find something. Are you saying there's a lot of money in the church, Gary. Because now we're about to. <laughs> All right, we got to we got to change the topic. Tebow Tebow's not good at football. No, he's not. And, good man, and not good at football. Thus ends the career of one Tim Tebow. Hey, I, at hang on I actually think he's pretty good on TV. Like, those, oh yeah. Now I don't know that he would be good at calling a game, no. but Lord help us, ESPN might try him. Okay, because they've tried everybody else, and he would really help ratings. You saw that they but, signed uh, Alex Smith, right? ESPN did. Hey, you know what? If I was ESPN, I might bring him in for a trial. Because look at all the people that you lost in like the political divide. Tebow would bring. All of those people back. He would definitely bring a strong portion of them back. And I, sure. I don't think he would be. Listen, he would. He would not be the worst person they've had in that. But I think he would be 
I'm a Booger defender, but he would not be as bad as Booger was. He would de- nobody in the world will ever be as bad as Jason Witten. Okay. Yeah, no, that's true. So that is true. so he, he he wouldn't be that bad. And he would bring a ton of viewers back. ESPN might need to think about this. They already have a relationship with him from working for the SEC network. I'm I'm sure that if they were going to bring him back, it would probably be for the SEC stuff that, that they're going to be doing. Going, well, They need to bring him back for the Monday night football game because that's what they're dying at. That's yeah. their number one television show that ESPN has, and that's where they can't get anybody to do it. That's great. Yeah, no, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. They do need some help with the NFL side. We'll see what ends up happening. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.